Hello, this is Nestor Tilson here. In my last videos, I've showed you how to set up this cabinet unit here, this cupboard unit, which has in fact several elements and is set up in a project mode where we have assembled all these different elements. If we look in our project mode, we can see that we have here, in fact, one cabinet on the right, one cabinet on the left, a central cabinet, two side panels, which I've also set up here, and underneath, if we look, carefully underneath we have a kick frame. Now this kick frame has been set up so that all the other cabinets clip onto it and overlap our kick frame. In this particular video I'm going to show you the best way to set up a plinth in front of this kick frame that will always go up to the ends of our cabinet. If we can see here now, for instance, that our side panels are... there is a gap now between our kick frame and our side panel. And what we want to do here is to make a plinth which will be applied to our kick frame and which will cover up the whole front of this project then go up to the each side. So how do I do that? Well. The best thing to do that is the way to do that is to add this plinth to the actual kick frame itself. So let's s quickly do that. Let's go into our kick frame here in our models list. I've got my kick frame 40 here, and if I click onto it twice, I'll go into my cabinet edit mode, and I'll be in here editing my little kick frame. So how do I edit this kick frame? Well. If you've seen my last video, the kick frame is actually put into a virtual volume so that all the other cabinets will click onto the virtual volume around it. Now, if I move my mouse over the front of this particular kick frame, I can see that there is a virtual volume in front of the front of the kick frame, where in fact this part here, which is now in green, is a double back. If I move my mouse over the volume part, I get the volume, virtual volume going blue, and if I click right in this virtual volume which is in front of my kick frame, I can also add another double back. If I add double back here, and this time the double back, I'm going to put it a distance from the back of this particular volume, which is a virtual volume, and from the back I'm going to put a zero millimeters. And if I click OK now, we can see that Polyboard has thrown in another, another double back just in front of my kick frame, and this double back is a, len is a, s a length of material just in front. Um, of course, this length of material is not going up to the end, that is, of my volume of my kick frame, my real volume of kick frame, that is the real virtual volume. So what I'm going to do now is just make it go to the end. So I'm going while it's selected in green, I'm going to click on the vertical division 1, which is the end of my kick frame, and I'm going to put it as overpassing it. And you can see immediately the volume or the bit of the middle material is now overpassing this particular vertical division, and I'm going to give it an overlap in the overlap parameter here of 40. So it's actually filling in this virtual volume and overlapping the virtual one. I'm going to the vert vertical division 2 and do the same, overpassing overlap by 40. And now this strip of material is actually going to the end of my virtual volume. And I'm going to change this material. Let's change it into put it into a thinner material. I'm going to look in my library and let's say I'm going to put it into a 10 millimeter chestnut veneered board. And if I click out now, let's, let's, let's Get, let's um, close this particular model, create a new model, and let's call this new model the kick frame with a recess of 40, but let's put it uh, plus plinth. I'll put a plus plinth on it, and this will create a new model in my list here. So we have here kick frame 40 and kick frame 40 plus a plinth. And let's replace the kick frame 40 plus plinth, uh, the kick frame. Uh, R40 with the kick frame R40 plus plinth. I'm going to click this model here and now let's just clip it onto our kick frame. Our other kick frame. Select the old kick frame and suppre suppress it. 
and let's put this one let's clip it onto the bit of furniture here properly and let's have a look now what we've got here and now we have our bit of plinth here actually being sized up with the kick frame so it's part of the kick frame and it will be automatically added every time we add the kick frame and that's how we have a look at it in x-ray view and that's how to set up a ver uh, plinth in front of your kick frame so that it will always be the right size according to your kick frame Right, thank you very much for looking at this little video and I hope that's been in interest to you and I hope that we'll be seeing you again soon in another video. Goodbye.